What is the precedence diagramming method? Precedence diagramming method is a visual representation technique which is used to prepare the project network diagram and determine the critical path. Unlike the arrow diagramming method, activities are presented as boxes in PDM. One of the main advantages of the precedence diagramming method is that it demonstrates the activity relationships. It is critical for a project manager to realize the activity relationships because it is important while preparing the network diagram and then creating the project schedule. For better understanding, let's analyze an example and follow the steps. Precedence Diagramming Method Example In this example A, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I are the activities. Numbers above the boxes are the durations. Activity B is a predecessor activity that logically comes before a dependent activity F in this network system. Activity F is a successor activity that logically comes after the activity B. There is a FS relationship between activity B and F. Step 1, PDM forward pass calculation. In this precedence diagramming method example, we will perform forward and backward pass calculations. Forward pass calculations specify the minimum dates at which each activity can be performed and, ultimately, the minimum duration of a project. Step 2, PDM backward pass calculation. Backward pass calculations determine the latest dates by which each activity can be performed without increasing the project's minimum duration. Step 3, PDM float calculation for each activity. Total float is the amount of time that an activity can be delayed without delaying the project completion date. Total float is zero on the critical path. Total float, LS, ES equals 17 minus 7 is equal to 10. Total float, LF, EF equals 27 minus 17 is equal to 10. Total float can be calculated by subtracting the early start date of an activity from its late start date or early finish date from its late finish date. Step 4, PDM identifying the critical path. When we analyze the network diagram we will see that there are some paths and every path have duration. The critical path is the longest path in the network diagram and the total float of the critical path is zero.